What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Jelly the Casual Card Gamer, and today we're going to be opening four boxes of Clan Collection Volume 5. I thought that I would have to wait another week to get these, but um, thankfully, um, got them today. So let's get straight into the opening, shall we? First time ever, I have an actual blade edge on um on <laughs> uh ready so let's get straight into the first box so the first box will probably be the longest one to open because i want to go through all of the skills of everything all the grade threes of um the new stuff at least and um after that we'll just be speed opening for the sps and hopefully we get a vsr i'm really hoping for um for a rate vsr or um a rebirth vsr but uh yeah fingers crossed that we get one any anyone would be fine anyone would be fine so let's get straight into it so box topper no promos but that's okay we get straight into the first pack so let's see what we get Ooh, it is ott so we have toyota hime oh okay so it's all it's um it's jumbled up now so uh nectaria Mutant Gentleman High Mass, uh, High Class Moth. We have a Suhail reprint, reprint as well. And there we go, our first new Grade 3 Genovius. Thundering Ripple Genovius. So, first ability, once per turn, act. Soul Blast 1, look at 5 cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to 1 from among them. Call it to Rear Guard and Shuffle. Then his second ability, when this unit attacks, if you do not have any stand units, Counter Blast 1, choose one of your Rear Guards, we stand it. If you have 4 or more cards, in your damage zone, count, um, stand all of your rear guards instead. If you have a Havra, so a grade two, in your soul, then all of the units that are stood by this ability get plus five until end of turn. So really nice. Um, v premium, uh, he's okay. Uh, in premium, Odysseus exists, so that'll be interesting to see what people do with it. Um, but yeah, one of the decks that I do want to build actually. So if you haven't seen the new rides for volume five, uh, check that out. I'll hopefully have a link for it in the description, but, um, but yeah, Genovius. Ooh, next we have Steve Eradicator Sweep Command Dragon. So very nice, um, Axel spam for Eradicators and Engaging Assistant. So Pale Moon, when this unit is placed on Vanguard or Rearguard from hand, I'll think, okay. All right, so that is our first pack. I'm just going to have everything out here so that it's easier for me to uh, sort later. <laughs> so next we have Omnia Vincit Amor Bende uh, Benedetta. So Heal Guardian for um, Bermuda. We have Ingenious Myrno. We have our Ashley reprint. So this, we don't have any um, things yet. So let me put that up here. There we go. <clears throat> we have OTT, and there we go, dual temptation rate, so no SP rate this box, but really nice. So once per turn, act, bind a rear guard and draw a card, and once per turn, at the end of the battle that she attacks, counter blast one, discard a card, restand her, she gets minus one drive until end of turn, choose up to one card in your bind zone with the same name as the card discarded for this cost, and call it to rear. If your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, you get an imaginary gift of force and you put it straight on your vanguard. So this is really nice for uh, restand picking. There we go. Ooh, we have Skydiver. New grade, uh, support grade 3 for Spike Brothers. So that's nice. Do we have any Spike Brothers piles in it? Nope, we do not. So Metalborg, Mist Ghost. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> when this is placed on vanguard or rearguard, the top five cards from your deck. Search for metal board, add it to your hand, and then um, discard a card if it is on your rear guard. All right, and that's all for that. I'm not going to go too much into um, the support cards, just going to go into the new grade threes. All right, next pack. We have ooh, Spike Brothers Heal Guardian and Spike Brothers Reprint, Dimensional Robo Die Dumper. The assistant, ooh, hoo, hoo. and there is another deck that I really want to build. Your uh, Giraffa, inverse Giraffa Revert. All right. So once per turn, when the attacks a Vanguard counter blast one, your opponent chooses one or more cards from their hand and calls it to those uh, calls those cards to rearguard as rest. Your opponent's auto abilities do not activate 
uh, from these calls. And if your opponent called fewer cards than the number of grade three cards with Giraffe in your soul, lock one of your rear guards and restand it. So it's a restanding Vanguard. And when your opponent's units are placed during your turn, you can lock one of your other rear one of your rear guards and all of your front row units get plus 15k until end of turn. So that's really nice. You can go plus 45. Um, <clears throat> if uh, your opponent places stuff, or you just get a free restand, which is nice as well. And um, yeah, so uh, Giraffe Reverse, where do you go? I know I saw you somewhere. There we go. All right, Battle Sister Coco. When she's rode upon, you may call her to rear, and then she does um, deck manipulation. So that's nice. And Mega Colony Battler S for Spider. Okay, so far so nice. Uh, we haven't seen Rebirth yet. Uh, also haven't seen Enigma and Storm yet, and um, I'm, I'm really excited for that one as well. So hopefully we uh, we pull that uh, as an SP. Oh, we can't pull thing as an SP, but anyway, hopefully we get it soon. I just want to have it in my hand. All right, I S the Fortress. So Genesis, I believe, is the first one. Uh, Dizarus, very nice reprint for Dimension Police. Artillery Man. That's interesting as well. All right. And Miracle Pop Eva. All right. And there we go. Dark Dimensional Robo Reverse Dayusha. So from hand, at the end of the battle that your grade three or greater Vanguard with Dimensional Robo attacked, if all units that attack this turn has Dimensional Robo in their name, you can counterblast one. Ride this card as stand until end of turn. Uh, this gets minus one drive, and you cannot ride by card effects. And act once per turn, lock two of your rear guards with dimensional robo in their card, na card names. Uh, choose one of your opponent's vanguards, and it gets minus 10k until end of turn. So you get a little uh, power manipulation there, and then restanding if you are playing pure uh, dimension robo. Next, ooh, we have Battle Sister Mocha. Okay. And we have Silent Ripple um, Soterio. So. Good card for um, Genovi, obviously. So there we go. So far, we have <laughs> we have confirmed that I do not know how to sort things. All right. Next, we have Dragon Dancer Natasha. So Kagura, I believe, this is the first Kagura card. First Kagura card. Ooh, Narissa. This really needed reprint because they were very expensive um, on the secondary market. Battle Siren Narissa. All right. We have Charging Jewel Knight Mordvius, finally. Some reprints, because these things were getting very, very pricey. Oh, Eradicator Spark Rays Dragon. Another reprint. And there we go. Uh, Broken Heart Jewel Knight Ashley Reverse. Beautiful looking card. And one of the BSRs in the set, which um, I wouldn't mind getting. So, Soul Blast 2. Lock one of your rear guards, choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards, and retire it. Look at the top card, top four cards of your deck. Choose up to one card with Jewel Knight and their card name from among them. Call it to rear and put the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. When she attacks, if you have two or more locked cards, you can counter blast one. Search your deck for up to two grade two or lower cards with Jewel Knights in their card name. Call them to rear guard, shuffle your deck, and for each of your locked cards, uh, this unit gets plus 10k until end of turn. If you have three or more locked cards until the end of battle, your opponent cannot call Sentinel from hand to Guardian. So, um, big power slap. Nice. All right. And uh, ooh, to support her, Security Jewel Knight Alwain. And we have Stealth Fiend Fukun. Nice card for um, uh, Ryogi. <clears throat> Right, next. Okay, we have Sushio Bubble Dragon. We have Powerback Ronaldo. Dijacker. Stealthine Jakotsu Girl. And I believe this is the new Grade 3. Yes, it is. Ooh, yes, there's, there she is. So, card number two on my list of, uh, yeah, deck number two for free of decks that I want to build from this set. Um, reverse Battle Sisters is nice. So, Continuous, during your turn, all of your units with Battle Sister and the card names get plus 5k for each of your locked cards. It's a little counterintuitive, but whatever. Um, Counterblast 1, Act. 
Uh, discard a card from your hand. <clears throat> Look at the same number of cards from the top of your deck as pop as the number of units with Battle Sister and their different card names. Choose any number from among them, put them on the top of your deck in any order, and put the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. Then, lock one or more of your rear guards with Battle Sister and their card name, and draw a card for each card locked for this cost. So, deck top deck manipulation, drawing, and a bit of a power boost. It's, um, it's nice. It's nice and simple. All right, there we go. So grade two Ripple, pa we have Rising Ripple, Ripple Pavroth, and um, a fun deck, <laughs> Embodiment of Victory Aleph for Kagero. All right, I believe we are halfway through the box already. <clears throat> so next pack, we have, all right, uh, Kumadori Dope, Dope, Dope for Murakumo. Mega Colony reprint. Norn reprint, thankfully. Thank you. I'll take that. Ashira Yuki. Nice. Second reprint in um, in the fine collection, so pretty good. <clears throat> for um, anybody that wanted to get her. Next we have Shikigami Master Ryogi. So, once per turn, act. Counterblast 1, look at 5 cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one card with Stealth Fiend in its card name and call it to Rear Guard Circle and shuffle your deck. If your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater, call two instead of one. So, just a just a call two for um, for one counter blast is, is nice. And next, when your Rear Guard <clears throat> is placed by the ability of this unit, this unit gets that unit gets this unit's card name until end of turn. And when this unit's attack did not hit, Soul Blast two. Choose up to the same number of cards with Stealth Fiend in their card names as in your drop as the number of your additional rearguard circles and call them to additional rearguard circles. So we have Banding Jewel Knight Miranda, very nice, and Dragon Monk Goku, another really fun uh, Kagero deck that I want to build. So there we go. That's it for that pack. So I'm taking the very the one at the very back. <clears throat> I should probably start flipping them over just to make sure that the SP isn't in here. So, all right, so that's, uh, that is not the SP pack. All right, so Mega Colony, Field Guardian, <clears throat> Juggernaut Maximum, Break Breath Dragon, and Dragonic Descendant. So really good reprint as well, and it just looks really nice. But yeah, especially with the rever with Bowing Saber Reverse, it's a really good card. And we have Juggernaut Maximum Maximum. So, <laughs> auto from Vanguard at the beginning of each main phase. If your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater, until end of turn, this unit gets um, continuous. All of your units placed this turn get plus five k shield and five k power. And at the end of the battle that this unit attacked, if four or more of your units were placed during this turn, Soul Blast three, choose a column, restand all your column, all your units in that column. If you stand this unit, this unit gets minus one drive until end of turn. And at the end of the turn, put all of your rear guards on the bottom of your deck in any order. So nice restanding, uh, restanding uh, vanguard there. And next we have Duo Mini Heart Roam. So uh, good card with uh, with Wraith over there. And we have Ordain Owl. So uh, Genesis, for some reason, we keep getting Regalia that isn't Minerva. <laughs> um, but when this unit is rode upon, you can call it to rear guard. I don't know why I'm reading it. There we go. <clears throat> all right. Slowly getting through all the packs. All right. So, okay. So this one has a texture to it. I'm going to, I'm going to leave that somewhere over here. Somewhere, uh, let's see, somewhere visible still. And then we'll go through the rest of it. So Nightmare Doll Lindy, Nora Fixer Hilda. We have Water Gang. Pursuit Assault, very nice. A Reckless Express, and Pop Out Chimera. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to leave this here for now. <clears throat> All right. So, face cam con cuts out. Keep forgetting. All right. Uh, Dimension Police, Heal Guardian, Lyle. Good, good reprint. Yggdrasil, another pretty good reprint for anybody that wanted to build uh, Regalia. <clears throat> we have Battle Sister Trifle. 
And we have Regalia of Blessed Love Freeg. Very nice card. So her ability is all of your rear guards with Divine Gauge cannot leave rear guard by your opponent's card effects and uh, get plus 5,000 uh, power. And <clears throat> act once per turn, counter blast one, look at the top five cards of your deck, choose up to one card from among them, call it to rear guard circle, shuffle your deck. If you called a unit with Regalia in its card name, choose up to two of your rear guards, put a card from your soul face down at the Divine Gauge for each of them. Then at the beginning of your turn, if your opponent has four or less cards in their damage zone, discard five Divine Gauge and uh, choose one of your opponent's vanguards and deal one damage. So, very nice. <clears throat> um, little extra damage pressure is fun. Alright, there we go. We have Duo Pretty Horn Ural. And uh, Regalia of Avowal Lurigisa. Lurilgisa. Luril. Luriel just, uh, I don't know how you pronounce that, but there we go. All right. And let's see, we have two packs left. So I'm just going to, just so that it isn't obvious what the, the SP is, I'm going to just take the new grade three from each of these packs. And then um, we'll, we'll, we'll see what the final three are. All right. So Blitz Knuckle Dragon for Narukami. He shot for Kagero. Good reprint. It was starting to get really expensive. Um, Rainy Madame. Murakumo, Battle Sister Fromage for OTT, uh, Taizen, and there he is! <laughs> Probably my number one deck to build in this set, Enigma Storm. There we go, there he is in all his uh, Enigma Storm glory. Alright, where do you go? There we go, alright. <clears throat> Last full pack. Okay, so there's nothing on that one as well. So it is just the one SP in this pack. We have the Royal Paladin Heal Guardian. We have Kelpie Rider Dennis. <clears throat> DDD. Twilight Hunter Artemis. And we have Armor Break Dragon. Really f another fun uh, Narukami card if you guys want to try this one out. Um, a lot of nostalgia comes with this card <laughs> if you watched the anime way back when and mega colony battler m battler moth all right and here we go our last three great threes the first is sword magician sarah act once per turn counter blast one search your deck for up to one grade three card call it to rear guard circle shuffle your deck until end of turn this unit gets all of your grade three rear guards get boost and plus 2k at the end of the battle, your drive check revealed a grade 3 or greater card. Yeah, put two rear guards on the bottom of your deck. And choose up to three, two grade 3s in your soul and call them to rear guard. I'm going to have to do so much editing. But that's fine. Alright. And next is uh, Rebirth. So at the beginning of your battle phase, if cost, you have one or more rear guards and lock all of your rear guards. So I think this is, this is a, little, a little confusing. Um, and until end of turn... At the end of the battle, this unit attack, counter blast one, discard a card from your hand and restand this unit. When this unit attacks a vanguard, soul blast one, and for every two of your locked cards, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire them. Then at the end of the battle that it attacked, if you have five or more locked cards and you have four or more cards in your damage zone, discard two cards from your hand, stand this unit, and you get an imaginary gift force. So that's really fun. So three attacks if you are limit break four. All right. And the last card in the box is, oh my goodness, that looks so nice. There we go. So um, people were memeing on the uh, the English release of the the triple uh, R version of Bowing Saber Reverse. Um, the SP looks amazing. So <clears throat> let me try to read it. Uh, act once per turn, counter blast one, lock one of your rear guards. Your opponent chooses a card from each of their rear guards, hand and drop, and binds them. And then the second ability is basically Vowing Swords ability. So whenever something is bound anywhere from, like, besides your opponent's deck, if it's a normal unit, then your opponent has to search their deck for another copy of that card, and then bind that unit as well. If they aren't able to, then you get plus 10 on a unit. If they are able to, then you you just get plus five on any unit. So that's really nice because the first ability procs it three times. And next, when this unit attacks, if you have one or more cards with vowing 
in its card name or soul in your soul or on your rear guard you can counter blast one soul blast one choose one of your rear guards and restand it if you are limit break four basically then you restand your entire field which is fun because at five when you're if your opponent's at five damage and you're at four or five then you can just go into Descendant and restand your field a bunch of times for three counter blasts and a couple of soul blasts. So that's really, that's really, really fun. And that is it for box number one. I'm just going to put this in a sleeve. So it's a little protected. And we'll get into box number two. We're going to go straight into box number two. And like I said, with uh, the first one, uh, this will. Box two, three, and four will just be speed runs. <laughs> just want to get all of these open. I want to pull those SPs and uh, not waste too much of your guys' time. So we'll get straight into this. Probably not the one to sort. That takes way too much time. All right. So start of box number two. You know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to take everything out, and then we'll just do that. And then we can go through this quickly. So Ayas, Nerissa, Dizaris, uh, Terijas, Skydiver, and Aleph. <clears throat> uh, Toyota Hime, High Class Moth, Artilleryman, Trifle, Engaging Assistant, and Mist Ghost. Benedetta, Ashley, Suhail, Artemis, Steve, and Coco. Natasha, Hilda, Mordvius, Spark Race, Fukun, and I Luigi Zosa. Right, we have Isushio Bubble Dragon. Dijacker, Norn, Eva, Reckless Express, Battle mm. Night Colony Battler M. Commodore Dope, Intrude Scissors, Descendant, Yggdras Hill, uh, and Mocha, oh whoops, and Ordain Owl. Alright. Lindy, Maximum, Water Gang, Tricky Assistant, Armor Break Dragon, and Tabra. Let me know down in the comments, guys, what deck or decks do you guys want to build from this set? Because there's just so many to choose from. Even if they aren't the, the best, it's just fun to test out these, uh, test out fringe builds and things like that. So let me know down in the comments. Cameron, Rona, Die Dumper, Shirayuki, Enigma Storm, Best Boy. And Taisa. All right, Aiden Bullion. I had to re really read that one for a sec. Dennis, Lyle, Lale, Fromage, Alwing, Goku. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Innocent Ray Dragon, Nectaria, BDD, Jakotsu Girl, Roan, Pop Out Chimera. Alright, second last pack. <clears throat> and then Blitz, Knuckle Dragon, Myrnal, Ishat, Rainy Madame, Euro, and uh, Battler S. Last pack. Alright. <clears throat> okay, so. Here we go, last pack. Big Breath, Pursuit Assault, Miranda, Soterio. Alright. So, let's see. Put that back. Alright, so, Dayusha, okay. Genovius, Rate, so no Rate SPs yet. No Ashley SPs yet. No Fromage SPs yet. Okay, Ryogi. Okay, Bowing Saber. Freeg, the Rebirth, Sarah, 
getting down to the wire here. And I completely forgot who's still left. Ooh! <laughs> Inverse Giraffa Reverse. Oh, look at that. I can't... I don't know if the camera is catching the little, uh, the little textures there, but... There we go. I'm thankfully getting PSPs for decks that I want to build, so that's uh, good for me. <laughs> All right, so that's box number two. Let's get into box number three. Here we go. Third box. Hopefully, hopefully we get a, a VSR somewhere. Um, it'd be really nice if we did. Okay. Here we go. We'll do the same thing, but even faster this time. So... <clears throat> Just to show off these beautiful looking cards. And for those of you who still haven't gotten their uh, wish list crossed off yet for things that they want retrained or made in uh, in the clan collection let me know what old units you guys want to see come back um if there are any still left <laughs> it'll be it'll be nice to see you guys thoughts and everything on um what what might be coming next because uh, we are with this set basically at the end of limit break so um It'd be cool to see what you guys uh, are looking forward to next in V. Demon Storm. All right. Okay. Juggernaut Maximum, Dizarus. Homage, Armor Break, and Goku. Alright. Blitz Knuckle. Oh, almost forgot. Same as that. Blitz Knuckle, Isle, Descendant, Drastil, Mocha, Origin Alpha. Okay. Cameron, Victoria, Dijacker. Tricky Assistant, Pavro, and Aleph. Alright. <clears throat> Next we have Lindy, Rona, Dai Dumper, Shirayuki, Steve, Kaizen. Sushio Bubble Dragon, Narissa, Intrude Scissors, Jakotsu Girl, Ural, and Pop Up Chimera. Second last pack, Innocent Ray, uh, Break Breath, Rainy Madame, Suhail, Miranda, and Engaging Assistant. Okay, last pack before we get into the Grade 3s. Benedetta, Dennis, Mordvius, Pursuit Assault, uh, Roan, and Coco. That's it for the regular part of the box. Let's get into the boss grade three part. Let's find the SP here. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay. Okay. So no SP rate. No SP Ashley. Okay. No SP uh, Fromage. Freg is okay. Ryogi okay. Uh, we aren't getting a, a second SP reverse. <laughs> uh, Giraffa, the Rebirth, Sarah, I believe. Oh no, there's still one more. Juggernaut Maximum Maximum. That's the second time that that was the second last card. And Woohoo! Thundering Ripple Genovius as our final well, our third SP. Alright. It's still another deck that I that I am uh, itching to try out, so still good. <laughs> Alright. And Let's get into the final box of the video. So hopefully, hopefully there is an SVR in here somewhere. I really hope that there is, because I would really like one. I have pulled only one in the past, and that was uh, that was mind blowing. I it was 
I was so happy. My hands were shaking, um, as anyone's would, I guess. All right. So, here we go. Final box of Clan Collection Volume 5. Let's do it. We have Cameron, Dennis, Lily, uh, Norn, Nigman Storm, Best Boy, uh, Luril Jessa. Oh. We have Ayas the Fortress, Maximum, Water Gang, Fromage, Steve, and Goku. Natasha, Nectaria, Break Breath, Park Rays, uh, Pufun, and Coco. So I do, I don't know how I feel about um, having mixed clans per booster. It kind of makes it less, I, I don't know. What, what do you guys think of mixing clans per pack? So everything still comes as um, a one of for everything in the set if you buy a box. But um, for the first two clan collections, I believe um, everything was mixed. So what do you guys think? Uh, everything was in one clan but now since everything has been mixed um it feels a little weird but it does feel a little it feels weird but better just because it feels like you're opening a regular booster um but what do you guys think in uh what do, what do you guys think about the change let me know let me know because i'm curious to get your opinions we have all wayne and taiza <clears throat> all right so six booster of the box Getting that over there. Innocent Ray, Narissa, Intrude Scissors, oops, too easy. Pursuit Assault, a Pop Out Chimera, and Vic Flame of Vic uh, Embodiment of Victory Alice, all right? <clears throat> all right. Kumadori Dope, Kishat, Jokotsu, Trifle, Miranda, and Battler M. Battler, Battler. <clears throat> we have Toyota Hime, Mernil, High Class Moth, Suhail, Ural, and Sotirio. I'm trying not to touch the cards too much, just so that um, <laughs> there's still a bit of a surprise for whether or not I got the VSR. But um, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we get one in this final box here. Please send me the good vibes. Please send me the good vibes so that we can uh, we can pull an SVR, a uh, VSR, sorry, on camera here. All right, Blitz Knuckle, Dijacker, Shirayuki, uh, Kiva, Reckless Express, and Ordain Owl. Okay. Benedetta, DDD, Yggdrasil. Uh, tricky assistant, Roan, and engaging assistant. And here we go. We have Lindy, Dizarus, Descendant, Therias, Skydiver, and Mocha. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we're just going to do it this way. So first... Okay, maximum, maximum. Sarah. Okay, why have you, these two are always at the bottom? Okay, read the rebirth. Okay. Okay. Ryogi. Fromage. Dayusha reverse. Giraffe reverse. Oh, ho, 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 and we got ashley reverse in sp and that looks so nice the red highlighting on the bottom of the reverse sp just looks so good as an accent but there we go <clears throat> and i think i don't think we get any svrs uh vsrs in uh in this bot in this uh in this video but still we did get uh we did get really nice looking sps so here we go one more time these are our four. So Ashley Reverse, Genovius, Giraffa Reverse, and Vowing Saber Reverse. So really, 
really love these arts and full art. It's just so good to look and so nice to look at. But anyway, guys, that is it for uh, this video. Stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm probably editing this. Um, I'm probably editing the volume six opening as you are watching this. So I'm probably already done. Uh, hopefully while you're watching this. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I am Jelly the Casual Card Gamer. Take care.